What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about three rods that you must have if you're going to be a successful fisherman. Uh, or if you really, I mean you can always do one rod, one reel, but if you want to cover 99% of the techniques out there, you need these three rods. So I don't have all my rods with me today, of course, now that I've decided to do this video, but I'll talk you through them. Uh, they're very basic, just one spinning rod and there's going to be two bait casters. So the first bait caster you're going to want to get, and this is the most versatile of them all, is a 7 foot to 7 3 medium heavy. Now the length is all based off of preference. If you like longer rods, buy a 7 3. If you like shorter rods and want to be more accurate with a cast and methodical, buy a 7 foot. Medium heavy, fast tip. The reel is not important. Uh, if you want my preference on a reel, I would get a seven, right around a seven to one gear ratio. Uh, it could be a six six, could be a seven one. It doesn't really matter. You can always slow yourself down. So that's the first one. I would spool that up with probably twelve pound fluoro, just for all around. Uh, this rod will cover crank baits. It'll cover chatter baits, spinner baits, swim jigs. Uh, lipless cranks, square bills, medium divers, deep divers, uh, pop bars, stuff like that. You can cover all that with uh, some swim baits, light swim baits. The next rod I would get, this is the same rod again, but I would get a seven foot six heavy. Seven foot, seven foot six heavy fast tip. Uh, now that would be your flipping stick, if you're flipping heavy cover. You could use it for frogs, you could use it for uh, whopper ploppers, pompadours, bigger swim baits, um, deep, deep cranks, stuff like that. That's for your, basically for your one ounce, your top water and your one ounce and up baits. So uh, that one, I would spool up, same thing, it's right around a seven to one gear ratio. Uh, and I would put braid on that. I'd probably throw a 40 to 50 pound braid, um, whatever brand you prefer, that's going to be good for that. The last rod I would get would be a 7 foot spinning rod, and that would be medium power. And that's going to cover all your finesse fishing, all your shaky heads, all your drop shots, all your Senkos, your wacky rig Texas rig Senkos, um, light, small, 1.5, 1.0 square bills. Uh, basically basically all your light tackle um, anything weightless flip it out there with the spinning rod um, it'll do the job so those are the three rods I'd suggest I hope you guys enjoyed this video if it helped you out smash that like button comment down below subscribe to the channel if you're new where I don't know where we're at for subs right now by the time this video goes up because we've been growing like crazy but hopefully we're on our road to 500 and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys on the next video